Okay, so I have the worst sore throat in the history of sore throats. I don't think I have strep throat, and that's why I'm eating this. I have another one that I'm going to be eating too. But, um, I speak very, very low and soft spoken, which is not normal for me. But uh, I can barely talk. But I had some hot news that could not wait otherwise. So I think the Advil, I took four regular Advil, which is ibuprofen 800, um, which would be prescription strength. I don't recommend that, but I know what my body can handle and I've been given ibuprofen 800 before. And I'm also an hour into gargling lidocaine. So I'm on the good stuff today, but I have some hot video game news because there's a new Evil Within trailer, an Evil Within 2 trailer, a new um, article for the Evil Within 2, which I'm going to try to read. I cannot concentrate, so we'll see how this goes. And I have other game to talk about, Land of Pain, to talk about, which I'm going to talk about first. Um, pardon me. Um, if you're not into big box um, developers like Bethesda... Capcom, um, whatever the case may be, um, there's always indie developers that you could play, and sometimes they, they, they do some next level stuff with their horror games, so, um, as y'all know, I'm a horror game fan, and it's pretty rad to see really good indie horror games, there's a lot of really crappy indie horror games, so, we're not going to talk about those, we're going to talk about Land of Pain, which is a good one. I got acquainted with Land of Pain, um, hmm, I want to say, like, four or five months ago, like, around Christmas time, maybe longer, like, a little around Christmas time, I got acquainted with Land of Pain, because I was bored, and I was looking for something scary, um, it wasn't that much going on, and somebody's like, this is the scariest game ever. I was like, well, Land of Pain, it sounds weird, and then the writing for it was all weird, so I was like, I'll give it a, I'll give it a go. So, I checked it out, and it was gorgeous, oh my god. Um, like, basically the graphics on that are just divine. It's, I don't need, it's only one developer. Um, guy named Alicestro, Alicestro, I can't pronounce his last name, and, um, since I can't, I can barely concentrate, I apologize, and I do follow him on, t or follow Land of Pain, i.e. him, on Twitter, so forgive me, and he sent me a link to where I could download Land of Pain and play it, play the demo, um, I will see if I can't pull that up. Oh man, I gotta dig through my Twitter for that. But I'll see where I can pull it up. And if it's still up, maybe you guys can play it. I tried to play it. My laptop just laughed at me and was like, I'm not playing this. So, and I was like, I could play it because it's like scary, but it's not. It's in first person, which is totally not me. It's on a computer, which is also not something I normally do. And then the cake topper is it's a horror game. So, and I was willing to play it because the demo, while it's eerie, it wasn't like in your face kind of like like hard it, it was truly creepy it was creepy more than like in your face jump scares it was not it wasn't any jump scares so I was like okay so we can probably play this and my laptop wouldn't wouldn't let me play it so if I'm gonna pull it up and if it's still up I'll put a link to the description I'll check, if they, I'll check to see if the um the link is still there and still functional. So, but Land of Pain is coming out September 13th. And I highly, highly, highly suggest somebody play it. Because it is phenomenal. For what he's done by himself is just crazy good. <laughs> so... I'm looking forward to that, and that's going to be real hot. September 13th, which for me is an excellent fulcrum between when The Evil Within 2 is coming out and that. 
so it's like a month so I have like a month to be all crazy for the land of pain and then I can gear up to be hyper insane for fucking evil within too they are killing me mm. with this evil within situation they are killing me I don't think I'm gonna make it pardon <laughs> This is the only way I can keep my throat from exploding. I'm not on there. No. Okay. Um. Yeah. So this is the best thing to keep, and these are only 60 calories. So really, like you're kind of fat as it is. Like yes, I am. But these are only 60 calories, and like I said, they keep my throat from exploding. So now that we've discussed land of pain, which it is my recommendation, everybody and their mom go play that. We are going to talk about the evil within. Um, the evil within too. Okay, so there's a new article out, and I'm going to try to read it. I am so disoriented today; it is ridiculous. Uh, the evil within two, Stefano of Stefano in Obscura. So let me read this. It's off the Bethesda website. I. Do y'all, I guess I'll put the, the, so you can read it for yourself without all the extra, but I'll put a link to this in the description too. Um, and sorry for the quasi-sexual licking of my popsicle. It's not, it's not intending to be sexy. It's intending to keep me from dying. Okay. Not only will S S Sebastian have to contend with a myriad of hor horrific creatures waiting for him in the evil within too. He'll have to deal with human monsters. That's them with the quotes, not me, not just me. Who have made their way into into the new STEM world. Wretched creatures like Stefano Valentini, an artist with dark proclivities and an unbounded imagination. You'll see examples of his work scattered throughout Union. From the grisly photographs of his victims to the moment of death tableaus he creates. Capturing the last seconds of a person's life in a tangible, looping scene. <sighs> mm. Learn more about the man in behind the art in the latest trailer for The Evil Within 2, which we'll get it into in a second. After losing his eye in an explosion during the time his, as his war... Hold on. After losing his eye in an explosion during his time as a war photographer, Stefano rapidly descended into madness. His profound vision drove him to become fascinated with that precise instant when death takes a person. <sighs> that split second in time when people are, in his opinion, at their most open and most beautiful. Mm. Y'all need to stop. Stefano returned home from the war with a profound, with a newfound purpose. But he could. Uh, sorry. Um, but he couldn't wait for these perfect moments to arise on their own. Why should he, when he could orchestrate those final breaths? <sighs> Lord have mercy. Mm, mm, mm. I can't do it. Quote, Stefano is a passionate adherent of beauty in all its shapes and forms, and it shows in his artwork, says Ka Ka Kaita Sakai, lead concept artist. Quote, in the real world, however, ignorant masses would find some of his ideas of beauty unpalatable. For him, union is a haven, a perfect canvas granting him the power of unbridled creation with no no one to distract him from his pursuit of artistic perfection. Oh, good Lord. He is always single-minded and focused on searching for the perfect medium for his next masterpiece, something to bring him closer to pure artistic perfection. For his next project, he has set his eyes on Lily, the core of union. And when Stefano sets his eyes on something, Nothing will stand in his way. <sighs> I told you he was chasing that child, and you'll need to stop. Oh, my God. Um, he 
he is not alone in his endeavors, born from an untethered and immoral imagination, sculpted from blood, bone, and flesh. Obscura is one of Stefano's greatest masterpieces. <sighs> Stefano's quote, Stefano's old spring round camera was one of his favorite toys in was one of his favorite toys in his collection and now he's decorated with a beautiful tripod explained sakai quote the love and affection that stefano poured into the camera have become the manifestation of his power breathing life into obscura um giving it a will of its own to stefano obscura is a living work of art in addition to being his beloved pet. Get a fucking dog, man. If you see pictures scattered around Union, chances are some of them were taken by Obscura herself. Get a dog. Or a cat. Or like a fucking... Like, don't people have like weird pets? Like, like, like a pet giraffe or something? Get something like that going. <laughs> I don't even know. Mm. I'm not... My popsicle is leaking like crazy. Oh, um, the evil within two is available. Blah blah blah. On Friday the thirteenth. Um, Friday October thirteenth. Um, get a dog <laughs> or something. Good God. Um, I don't know. I, I still don't like this Stefano thing. It's too freaky. Pardon me. Um. It's too creepy. I can't handle that level of gore and the fact that he, he's chasing Lily. It's like, she's a little kid, man. Leave that girl alone. So, I don't know. I still think he's going to be the B villain and, and um Black Man is going to be the A villain. Cause, I don't know. They still haven't gotten to Theodore. And I still say Sebastian should be able to create monsters. But let's talk about this trailer. Um, the trailer in and of itself was just so freaky. Like, it's just Stefano talking about, like, how more or less the gist is he's, he's how he, like, he saw beauty after.